Morning everyone, so I just woke up to um, a very upsetting message actually and I'll just wait for notification to come through that I'm live and uh, we'll get started because this is crazy, this is, um, alright, so Services Australia and Indu have fucked up again but this time it's going to cost somebody their pet if they can't hurry the ass up it's probably too late anyway this is quite upsetting you'll have to excuse me i've just woken up to this all right so one of our people that fought like hell to get off the card all right a lady that was originally in brisbane all right originally came from Bundaberg, but moved out before the card came in all right moved to brisbane seven months later got put on the card as she was moving to sydney all right Fought like hell, even though she went through hospital and everything, to get off. Get off the card in November last year, right? Now it's in Shoalhaven in New South Wales. I need to get put back on the damn card again. Oh, sorry, we took you off incorrectly. What a load of rubbish, right? She's the only person in her region. So she's just moved into a house that had rats in the roof, right? And her pup, which is um, a gift, to her for learning to walk again from an injury from when she was in hospital in Sydney has eaten half a block of rat poison last night so she rang an emergency vet who refused to treat him because she couldn't produce payment on the spot Indu sent the replacement card to the wrong address right and she was not informed and they and Centrelink were not linked that you know so she had no way to access any of her cash um, she offered to leave her engagement ring as collateral which the vet refused so now she has a four month old purebred Siberian husky pup who was refused treatment by the vet which could be crucial to his recovery and she has to go into her local Centrelink office first thing this morning with a newborn baby in tow Right, get a temporary card. Are they going to have a temporary card in New South Wales, in Shoalhaven? This is going to be interesting, isn't it? I'll be in there for hours waiting, because that's how the office rolls, if they even know what the bloody hell they're on about. I doubt if they've even got temporary card at her office. Oh. So, this is just getting too far, isn't it? I mean, this woman shouldn't even be on the card. They're that desperate. They're, they're going around people that they let off the card or people that fought hard to get off the card because they shouldn't have been on it in the first place, right? Oh, you you lived in Bundaberg once three years ago before the card came, but we'll put you back on it anyway. This is just getting ridiculous. And the amount of people that I get messages from that don't live in Bundaberg or Harvey Bay that once did, but they're in other parts of the country are getting put on the card because they lived there once, you know, or they've moved from there, but they hadn't been on the card while they were there. And it's like, oh, you know, they're completely going out of their way to really fuck people's lives up. I'm sorry. This has really upset me because, yeah, this woman's got children. All right, she's been through hell with this, with the whole charade for the last, Two two years, right? You know, and now because she can't access the money that's stuck on her card again, right? Her dog could die because warfarin or rat bait poisoning is no fun for any animal. Um, and I don't know, you know, if this is oh. I mean, I know my my daughter's got a cat and it. And it got hold of a Panadine fort. We don't know how much it was. I rang a vet for my daughter. It, and they said, get it to the vet now. You've got like less than an hour. And the vet saved that cat. My daughter was able to get vet pay. But you've got to be able to put down the money. You've got to be able to do stuff. And, and Indu sent their card to the wrong address again. Right? You know... This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, um, 
yeah, I don't know. This is just going crazy, this is. I'll get some more information this morning for sure, but... I'm just... I'm just... I don't know. They should be able to do an emergency transfer of some of her funds to her. It just depends, doesn't it? Depends on who's on the phone and who's got a power trip today. You know what I mean? Who couldn't care less? All right? Oh, and, oh it probably won't be enough of an emergency. Oh, we're not in the business of saving your pets. You know? Oh, this one's... It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Anyway, I'm going to... I know that this lady's already in um, contact with um, her local federal member and I'm going to make sure that uh, she um, makes this very well known to this local member as well. <coughs> <coughs> Not good enough. So, um... Cal Chandler, they have opened bank accounts without everybody's consent. But guess what? It's lawful. They're allowed to. And they've got a they've got a notice of no action regarding the con consumer law breach. So go figure. They made it lawful to do this. Your bank can't do it, but Indu can, okay? They made it special for them that they go around the laws that protect people from this sort of rubbish, all right, by two things. A little instrument removing the protections of payment act, right, for those on the cash just debit card by exempting them from that protection. Not by removing the law, the law's still there. Just exempting those on the cash just debit card from being protected by that law so that Indu can be the third party that takes over their income. Right, and then issuing Indu, not that we've seen the new letter yet, right? A letter or a notice of no in uh, no action regarding ASIC and um, you know the breaching consumer law. Uh, yeah, anyway, it looks like there's some news coming through. Um, they said if she, they've told her if she can't get a temporary card at the Centrelink office, right? Um, they'll only transfer what she needs, you know. So yeah, so we'll see. She's in Centrelink now, and she's ready for it. So you know, bet they don't even know what the if I'm on about. You know, and I can appreciate how she's feeling because we've got cardholders all over the country that get told, go to Centrelink, and they don't know anything about it. You know what I mean? Don't know nothing about it. You know, it's like, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll post some of it as a written thread. That way people can comment underneath. Um, you know. But uh, this is just getting ridiculous, you know. <sighs> Hang on. <sighs> they don't even know how long it's going to take her to get a new card. Because they sent it to the wrong address. They did this before. In Hinkler, so many people, they sent them to the wrong addresses that the post office kept running out of temporary cards. You know what I mean? And people would go in and they'd have to go around all the different post offices in Harvey Bay and Bundaberg trying to find a temporary card. At one stage there, they ran out. That tells you how big of a balls up it was when they were sending everybody's stuff out to the wrong addresses. And they've done it with this lady as well. And she's like, that, she doesn't have a clue when her proper card's going to show up. You know, and it's very unlikely this would be a miracle, all right? 
if her if there's a temporary card available in her store in her in Shoalhaven Centrelink, I'm pretty sure there probably won't be. It'd be a shock if there is. All right. And if there is, I'd be a bit wary of that region because if they're going to start stocking up Centrelinks with temporary cards, yeah. Yeah, so mm, we'll see. All right, I will keep you up to date on this. Um, yeah, not much happening. I'm I'm checking in with um, the lady from Kalgoorlie today if I can get hold of her. Internet phone is really shitty down there. It's hard to get hold of people. Um, and I'll check in with Mahalia, of course, and. And stuff like that and, and and let you guys know what's going on as I know but uh, oh, let's call this lady B she's not gonna be this is gonna she's been through enough drama she's been through this crap before you know um, she's been down this road of having to fight into couldn't even buy coffee in the bloody hospital or pay for a TV to watch while she was on recovery from a busted up smashed up knee you know what I mean um, couldn't give money to her her friends who were looking after her kids while she was in the hospital because she couldn't give them any cash. Been there, done that, done the hard yards, right? She's done the hard work before, being stuck on the card before and, and living out of region, out of area, you know what I mean? She's never lived in the area with the card. She always lives out of area. You know, um... Suddenly it won't give her an EFT card. <laughs> She's on the Indu card. They won't give her an EFT card. They don't do them anyway. Um, if she's lucky, Indu will do a transfer of whatever she can get. If she's lucky, if she can get the permission done quick enough. We're talking, we've got a couple of hours here, guys. Because as, for as long as that dog goes without treatment with warfarin, rat poison in his system... Right? Not good enough. Not good enough. You're dealing with a situation where the dog should have been able to go straight into the vet, right, within an hour to start the antidote for the toxin. You know what I mean? It's very hard. Very hard. And for each hour that passes, yeah, we all know, and I'm not going into it because been there, done that with animals that have eaten the wrong thing. We were fortunate with my daughter's cat. We got to the vet within an hour, right? And my daughter was able to get vet pay set up and we were able to scrummage up the deposit, which is 15%. But this lady hasn't got time to do all of that at the moment. She can't even get access to a freaking Indu card and her money's stuck on it. So, yeah, it's <coughs> not good enough. I just hope she jumps and jumps and jumps. And if you're watching, B. You start bloody screaming and you get down to the local federal member's office and you start bloody screaming. You start screaming. If this costs you your dog, you bloody go to town, girl. Media and all, if you're watching me. All right, this is not good enough. We know people have died as well. So, I mean, but yeah, I just can't stand the thought of that dog not getting any treatment because they're being assholes and she's sitting in Centrelink. Right, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we're not going to rush into things. We can't do. I'll tag her, and in, in the comment in the in the live anyway. But um, yeah, not impressed. Not impressed. All right, I'm gonna go, guys. Oh, I need to go and wake up. Um, yeah. All right. Just shows what happens, eh? Because life happens out here, right? People in those offices live in this artificial bubble of things don't happen. People don't need money in an emergency, right? But life happens out here for the rest of us. Crap. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.